So recently I printed out my mushroom model from my A1 mini bamboo printer and I noticed that there was some stepping at the very top, the last part of the print, and it just wasn't smooth and didn't look right. So I played around with the settings in Bamboo Studio and I figured out a way to make it much smoother. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better, big improvement. So I wanted to just show you guys and if any of this works for you, I hope it uh, it's helpful. So I'm gonna go to add and bring in my STL and um, I don't need my modified value. Okay, so here's the STL and I want tree support for mine. You don't have to do this. It really depends on what your model is. And I've also changed my top Z distance and bottom Z distance. Anything in orange has changed. Um, but this is just to help me break off the support. This doesn't have to do with the stepping, so you don't have to do this unless you want to. Okay, so now I'm going to slice my plate to see how it all looks with the support and the layers. And it takes a second, and here we go. So the support looks fine, but where I'm having the issue, I can see there's some weird stuff happening. Um, the outer wall should be an orange, and as you can see, the outer wall is very sparse at this top part, and you can see the sparse infill underneath. Um, and also, these layers are pretty far apart compared to the layers in the other parts of the mushroom. So I need to make these layers closer together and to fill in the orange so that we can't see the red underneath to smooth it out. So to begin with, I'm going to go into my prepare menu, and I'm going to select this at the top, this variable layer height. This will show me how high each layer is. And as you can see, these, these layers at the top where I'm having my issue are much bigger than these layers. So I need to make it adaptive. So I'm gonna select that. And as you can see, we've got the different size layers here. I'm gonna kind of boost them all up a bit. And it's just making, and if you see the yellow, that's where it's targeting. So I've got it at the smallest size layer I can possibly get here. And also I'm noticing it's a little bumpy and rough and not even, I wanna smooth it out. So if I select smooth, my line becomes smoother and the distribution just becomes um, smoother as well. And that's, that's kind of the point. So I definitely need this yellow area to be as small as I can get it to be, but that's still not completely solving my problem. It's just helping. It's helping move those layers together. So I need to do some other things. And what I found to help is to go into quality and to now iron, I want to iron the top. So ironing top surfaces, the part that I'm having an issue with is the top surface. So I'm gonna iron that and I need a pattern for it. I prefer concentric, so I changed that as well. I also found that changing this under the advanced settings, only one wall on top surfaces. So if I go not applied instead of top surface and change that, now when I slice my plate, I can see if that orange covers the whole uh, top part, and it does. It's not, um, the pattern is concentric, so it's got these circles versus if I changed it to rectilinear, rect rectilinear <laughs> and then slice and you'll see a different pattern at the top that's not so bad either I just prefer concentric um, but yeah so now when I print it out that will be filled in and it'll be much smoother uh, and this is something that you may see on your model so I hope that this helps you a little bit and I um, hope you join me for another 3d printing vid bye everyone